there's a few things that I did that really helped with that mentality. Here's the issue with it of like this father's approval thing and like always wanting people's approval. Fathers, like men do it until their father dies and they realize it after. They're like, oh, wow. Like I've been literally still grinding until I'm 40, 50, 60 years old. Yeah. And when my dad died, then you have nothing to work for. And it's like, that's not the problem with that is that it'll get you an external result. But that doesn't mean that it was a healthy thing. I have a quote that came to me that I believe was Holy Spirit inspired when I was 18. It's that went this way. I'd rather do what I know is right and fail in the world's eyes than do what I already know is wrong and succeed. So mm -hmm. there's things that you can do that you already know is wrong, but it'll make you succeed in front of the world. There's other things that you can do that are right, but it'll make you fail in front of the world. And at the time, like I dropped out of community college to study the Bible. And I was, and that's where it came was like, God was like, will you do what you know is right and fail in front of the world? Cause the world's like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Like it wasn't accredited. I was just literally for eight hours a day studying the Bible for no benefit. Like I didn't get a credential or any of this, B but what, what else would I have done? Like I could have just gone and gotten a job and everyone would have been happy, but I knew it would have been wrong. So it's kind of that internal conviction there. 